Question number one. As a teacher, what do you do when you engage yourself in major task analysis? A. Test if learning reached higher level thinking skills. B. Break down a complex task into sub-skills. C. Determine the level of thinking involved. D. Revise lesson objectives. Answer. B. Break down a complex task into sub-skills. Question number 2. What do the school campus expressions Promdi and Variotic indicate? A. The powerlessness of the poor. B. The power of the rich. C. Low literacy rate of the country. D. The prevalence of ethnocentrism. Answer. D. The prevalence of ethnocentrism. Question number 3. I want every pupil to cope with my lesson. Which technique can help me achieve it? A. Peer instruction. B. Film showing. C. Mnemonics. D. Choral reading. Answer. A. Peer instruction. Question number 4. What measure of central tendency does the number 16 represent in the following data, 14, 15, 17, 16, 19, 20, 16, 14, 16? A. Mode. B. Median. C. Mode and median. D. Mean. Answer. C. Mode and median. Question number 5. Which of these statements reflects best active learning? A. I hear and I forget, I see and I remember, I do and I understand. B. I became interested in the school, I feel it is my school now. C. I need more support, a network from which I could learn. D. I have found that one key to student development is providing criteria for performance. Answer. A. I hear and I forget, I see and I remember, I do and I understand. Question number 6. Which type of questions is generally considered low level? A. Convergent. B. Evaluative. C. Divergent. D. Open-ended. Answer. A. Convergent. Question number 7. A guest speaker in one graduation writes told his audience, Reminder, you are what you choose to be. The guest speaker is more of a slash and A realistic. B pragmatist. C idealist. D existentialist. Answer. D. Existentialist. Question number 8. Helping in the development of graduates who are mockadios is an influence of A. Naturalistic morality. B. Classical Christian morality. C. Situational morality. D. Dialectical morality. Answer. B. Classical Christian Morality Question number 9. Teacher T taught a lesson denoting ownership by means of possessives. He first introduced the rule, then gave examples, followed by class exercises, then back to the rule before he moved into the second rule. 
Which presenting technique did he use? A. Combinatorial. B. Comparative. C. Part whole. D. Sequence. Answer. C. Part whole. Question number 10. The first American teachers in the Philippines were A. Elementary graduates B. Missionaries C. Soldiers D. Graduate of the normal school Answer C. Soldiers Question number 11 Teacher E's sideline is selling encyclopedias for children on weekends. Her usual clientele are the parents of pupils who are on the verge of failing or those vying for the top 10. In fact, she always succeeded in selling encyclopedias to these parents. Is there anything unethical with the way Teacher E does her sideline? A. Yes, there is. She may become less objective in her evaluation of the work of these pupils concerned. B. No, there isn't. Books and teachers mix. Teachers are supposed to promote reading. C. No, there isn't. A teacher's salary is meager and selling books is respectable way of augmenting teacher ease income. D. Yes, there is. She is not supposed to engage in any form of sideline. Answer A. Yes, there is. She may become less objective in her evaluation of the work of these pupils concerned. Question number 12. In the context of Piaget's theory answer this analogy, pre-operational stage, Transductive reasoning concrete operational stage. A. Proportional reasoning. B. Deductive reasoning. C. Inductive reasoning. D. Logical reasoning. Answer. B. Deductive reasoning. Question number 13. Which is essential in the cognitive development of persons according to Vygotsky? A. Independent thinking. B. Individual mental work. C. Scientific thinking. D. Social interaction. Answer. D. Social interaction. Question number 14. Studies in the area of neuroscience disclosed that the human brain has limitless capacity. What does this imply? A. Pupils can possibly reach a point where they have learned everything. B. Every child is a potential genius. C. Some pupils are admittedly not capable of learning. D. Every pupil has his own native ability and his learning is limited to this native ability. Answer B. Every child is a potential genius. Question number 15. Miss Reyes observed that one of her students excels in activities requiring strength, speed, flexibility, balance and hand-eye coordination. According to Howard Gardner, such natural intelligence can be identified as A. Bodily kinesthetic B. Interpersonal C. Verbal logical D. Verbal linguistic Answer A. Bodily kinesthetic Question number 16 on whose philosophy was A. S. Neil Summerhill, one of the most experimental schools, based? A. Rousseau B. Pestalozzi 
C. Montessori. D. John Locke. Answer. A. Rousseau. Question number 17. After giving an input on a good paragraph, teacher W asks her students to rate a given paragraph along the elements of a good paragraph. The student's task is in level of A. Application B. Analysis C. Evaluation D. Synthesis Answer B. Analysis Question number 18 Out of three distractors in a multiple choice test item, namely B, C, and D, no pupil chose D as answer. This implies that D is A. A vague distractor B. An effective distractor C. A plausible distractor D. An ineffective distractor Answer D. An ineffective distractor Question number 19 for which may you use the direct instruction method? A. Become aware of the pollutants around us. B. Appreciate Milton's paradise lost. C. Use a microscope properly. D. Distinguish war from aggression. Answer. C. Use a microscope properly. Question number 20. With which goals of educational institutions as provided for by the Constitution is the development of work skills aligned? A. To develop moral character. B. To teach the duties of citizenship. C. To inculcate love of country. D. To develop vocational efficiency. Answer. D. To develop vocational efficiency. Question number 21. John Watson said, Men are built not born. What does this statement point to? A. The ineffectiveness of training on a person's development. B. The effect of environmental stimulation on a person's development. C. The absence of genetic influence on a person's development. D. The effect of heredity. Answer. B. The effect of environmental stimulation on a person's development. Question number 22. Bruner's theory on intellectual development moves from inactive to iconic and symbolic stages. In which stage, S, are diagrams helpful to accompany verbal information? A. Symbolic. B. Inactive and iconic. C. Symbolic and inactive. D. Iconic. Answer. A. Symbolic. Question number 23. Key factors in developing effective learning environments are classroom disciplinary climate and teachers' self-efficacy. Which conclusion can be derived from this statement? A. The teacher is the key to an effective learning environment. B. Students who are subjected to disciplinary measures contribute to an effective learning environment. C. A disciplinarian teacher creates a favorable learning environment. D. The discipline from an authoritarian teacher yields a conducive learning atmosphere. Answer. A. The teacher is the key to an effective learning environment. Question number 24. The difficulty index of a test item is 1. What does it imply? 
the test item must be a moderate in difficulty b very difficult because only one got the item correctly c very easy because everybody got the test item correctly d neither difficult nor easy answer c very easy because everybody got the test item correctly question number 25 in which way does heredity affect the development of the learner a by making acquired traits heredity b by compensating for what environment fails to develop c by providing equal potential to all d by placing limits beyond which the learner cannot develop Answer. D. By placing limits beyond which the learner cannot develop.